Scooby-Doo Snack Snatcher. Shaggy, Scooby and the gang were at the Coolsville Bake Off contest. Like, get a nose full of that! Shaggy, Shaggy sniffed the air. Mmm, mmm, Scooby-Doo sniffed too. Scooby and Shaggy had entered the contest. They were going to bake Scooby snacks. Like, this contest is the best, Shaggy smiled. The winner gets free pizza for a year. Fred pointed to a booth. That's your spot, he told Shaggy and Scooby. Velma, Fred and Daphne grabbed the supplies. These bags weigh a ton, Velma said. What is in here? asked Daphne. Ingredients, said Shaggy. Flour, sugar. Then Scooby pulled out a box. Pizza, Scooby cried. There's no pizza in Scooby snacks, Velma said. Shaggy took a big cheesy bite. It's not for the snacks, he explained. It's for the cooks. Right, right, said Scooby. Humph said Skinny Miss Pinchface in the next booth. What noisy eating! Shaggy and Scooby watched Miss Pinchface wash llama beans for a veggie pie. Then they spied the tub twins making double fudge brownies. Shaggy reached out a hand. Scooby reached out a paw. Don't, said Velma. You can't eat anybody else's food. It's against the rules. You'll be kicked out of the contest. Daphne smiled. But we can try anything we like. Let's go, Fred said. Like, let's get cooking, said Shaggy. Scooby took out more ingredients. Then they pulled out baking sheets, dough cutters, chef hats, aprons, and finally, another pizza. Phew, Shaggy yawned. I'm tired. If I weren't hungry for Scooby snacks, I would take a nap. Like, let's hurry, Scoob, so we can snooze. Shaggy grabbed the flour. Splat! It spilled on the floor. Scooby grabbed the eggs. Crack! They smashed on the table. Pour! Shaggy shouted. Knead! Mix! Finally the dough was ready. Shaggy and Scooby shoved the snacks in the oven. In a flash they fell asleep. Across the room, Velma, Fred and Daphne heard a scream and a thud. It was Miss Pinchface, a bag of lima beans at her feet. What's wrong? cried Daphne. There's a monster! Mish Pinchface shouted. Over by my table, it's all white and spooky looking without any eyes. A rumbling noise shook the room. I see something on the other side! Daphne cried. Let's go! said Fred. Velma, Fred and Daphne ran closer. The voice grew louder. But as they reached the cooking booth, the noise stopped. The monster was gone. Like, quiet down, you guys, Shaggy said. We're sleeping here. We're sorry, said Daphne, but Miss Pinchface saw a monster. Velma added. A monster, Shaggy said. Wake up, Scooby, there's a monster. Bing! The oven timer went off. Monster, Scooby said, and jumped up. That was the oven, said Velma. Shaggy opened the oven. Zoinks! cried Shaggy. It's empty! No ruby racks, said Scooby. The monster ate your snacks, Ms. Pinchface said. Like, we didn't see any monster, said Shaggy. Of course not, she said. You were sleeping. Look at this, said Velma. She pointed to handprints on the oven. Door. Yellow ones. And rock! cried Scooby. There were huge paw prints on the floor. Monster prints. Let's look for clues, said Fred. Scooby and Shaggy can guard the oven, Velma said. Not even for free pizza, Shaggy said. Would you do it for Scooby snacks? Velma asked. Scooby sniffed hungrily. So did Shaggy. Ruby racks. We're okay. Velma, Daphne and Fred followed the trail of paw prints. Shaggy and Scooby were alone. All at once they spied a trail of crumbs. This could lead to the monster, said Shaggy. Oh no, or, that could lead to the monster. <laughs> or more ruby rocks, said Scooby. They followed the crumbs. 
Scooby leaped up one crumb, then another. Hey, said Shaggy, leave some for me. He gobbled some up too. Slurp, slurp. They kept their heads to the ground. Bump! They crashed into Daphne, Fred and Velma. Shaggy rubbed his head. Like, hey, we're back where we started, and so are you. The crumbs circle the oven, and so do the paw prints, said Velma. She peeked at Scooby's paws. White, she said. She examined Shaggy's hands. Yellow, she cried. Fred wiped crumbs from Shaggy's shirt. These crumbs are just like the ones on the floor, he said. Shaggy, did you eat the Scooby snacks? Well, maybe I woke up from my nap for a minute and ate some. What about you, Scooby-Doo, Velma said. Scooby shrugged. I wrote wrong rule. There is no monster, Velma said. She saw some, we saw something white, but it was only Shaggy and Scooby wearing an apron and hat. Shaggy's eyes are yellow from egg yolk. Shaggy's hands are yellow from egg yolk. He made the handprints. And Scooby's paws are white from flour. He made the paw prints. You both ate the snacks. And you didn't even know it. But we're out of the contest, said Shaggy. Now you can try all the food, said Velma. Shaggy took a bite of the veggie pie. Like these are delicious, he eyed all the tables. And we've only just begun, Scooby grinned. Scooby doo doo! If you'd like to read more with us, we've got plenty more books we'd love to share with you. And hit subscribe below. Thank you.